out. One more. Out. Out. Yeah! <laughs> Yes team, how are we? Welcome to episode three of the vlog. It's Wednesday, the 17th of May, and it is day 10 of the 60 day challenge. These days are flying by. It is uh, just gone 6.30 a.m. The sun is shining, which is always nice. I'm just on the walk back from the gym, second gym session of the week. I'm feeling really good. Things have been going really well these first 10 days. Uh, feeling really focused, locked in, and um, the group inside the Unbreakable Dad program as well has uh, been following a very similar trend. Everyone seems to have upped their game, and um, yeah, it's incredible to see. So, um, yeah, morning routine as normal for me this morning. That will be pretty much the same throughout the whole of the 60 days. Uh, you'll see a similar trend to that. And um, I'm going to be going into more detail about my training approach in a later episode but at this stage it's just so good to get back to a bit more of a balance between uh, running and the gym stuff and really starting to feel the benefits of that and um, the enjoyment of it as well if you enjoy what you're doing in any aspect you're more likely to stick to it and that's um, a big thing that I focus on so we're gonna finish off this walk we're gonna get home we're gonna stretch we're gonna have some breakfast we're gonna jump in the cold plunge. Day 10 of the cold plunges have been going well. And then we're gonna crack on with the rest of the day. Okay, so in today's episode, I'm gonna be walking you through exactly what I'm having when it comes to my nutrition. I'm gonna be going through absolutely everything, all the snacks, the main meals, I'll be honest with you, I'm probably the worst person to do something like this because, quite frankly, um, things are pretty boring. I'm quite fussy. Um, I'm getting better uh, at trying new things. But um, for me, it's all about convenience. So this is going to be as basic, basic as basic can be, nothing fancy. And um, I feel like, as I said in previous episodes, when we're busy, we've got a lot of things on. I think nutrition is overcomplicated so much. And that's why I'm so focused on just having things that are convenient and I can just almost have repeatedly, which tastes good. And um, you know, I'm able to keep control of my overall intake. So I'm gonna take you through my breakfast. My breakfast is pretty much the same every single day. And I start with a uh, protein shake. So just a uh, whey protein shake. This is from My Protein, uh, strawberry flavor. I've tried many different brands, many different flavors. Personally, to me, this is the best one. Uh, and I just stick with that. Aside from that, the uh, next thing I'm having is basically some oats. Now, this is where you think I'm going to be really weird with this because I've tried many different variations of overnight oats and different uh, flavors and, and having different things in there. But I I'm extremely boring when it comes to this. So I have my trusty uh, football bowl, Kellogg's football bowl. Uh, for those of you that um, remember these, I've had this since I was about 10 um, and I still use it. And honestly, all I have here is I just have about 80 grams of oats, which is quite a lot, but I'm not having anything else uh, in the oats, which again, sounds weird, but this is just what I do. So yeah, I'm basically having plain oats, 80 grams. I use um, almond milk, uh, a little bit of sweetener, and that's me. I have tried 
throwing fruit in there, having it as yogurt, and it's okay, but I've just conditioned myself to having this, and I'm not saying this is the right way to do it. Um, it's just that I have, um, yeah, come up with, with this as my uh, kind of thing to do and thing to have. So um, I'm not saying you can't have fruit, you can't have yogurt, you can't have different flavors and ideas, but like I said, I'm pretty plain and boring when it comes to my nutrition, as you'll see over the course of this episode. Spider-Man. We've got Spider-Man jacket, Spider-Man trainers, Bob's your hat. And I'm Sonic the Blue. And you're Sonic with the Blue. Okay, so the time is just gone half past 10, just in the middle of the first work block of the day. This is always a busy part of the day for me where I'm at my most productive. So on about 10, half 10 is where I'll take literally like a 10 minute break um, and have my first snack of the day. So the way that I structure my nutrition across the day is three main meals, breakfast, lunch and dinner, uh, and then a couple of snacks in between. Um, that's personally what works for me. It doesn't mean to say that everyone needs to be doing this. Um, it's about finding what works for you um, and around your schedule ultimately and what you can stay consistent with. So the snack that I go to uh, at this time is one of these. Uh, I always highly recommend these to my clients. These are awesome um, protein pouches, uh, taste good, 20 grams of protein, 146 um, calories and it's just quick, convenient, easy and um, like I say bridges the gap from breakfast to lunch and um, yeah, keeps me full. Um, I also then tend to throw in a little bit of fruit. Normally I have um, like an apple or something like that, but we haven't got any apples today, so I'm just going to go with banana. Um, and again, that's just a, a good way to uh, get that extra fruit and veg in across the day. And um, yeah, like I say, see me through to lunchtime. All right, so it is lunchtime, and I'm just going to walk you through my go-to lunch which i'm having most days similar to my breakfast the only other thing that i will have other than this on some days is an omelet but um usually it is uh this and very simply it's uh it's a wrap and um i either use um these frozen chicken breast strips which are again really simple i've just thrown them into the uh, pan there to defrost um or um chicken tikka uh, from the uh, from the fridge literally ready made and um, this literally takes no longer than five minutes to make and again similar to the breakfast busy on the go this just needs to be quick but this actually tastes good there's a little bit more flavor to this um compared to my breakfast uh, so all i'm doing is i'm throwing down in um these uh, these are really filling um greek style flatbreads and again decent size so everything just goes on there and then i'm just throwing in uh, some salad. I've always been quite fussy with salad, but um, yeah, just throw salad leaves. We've got some spring onion, which I've only recently started using, and it's made a big difference to the the flavour and the taste. Um, so chopped up there, cucumber, and then what else would I throw on? A little bit of cheese, and then I'll just throw some uh, barbecue sauce on this one. Uh, I don't normally do that on the chicken tikka because I don't fancy barbecue sauce and chicken tikka together. Uh, but honestly, it is that simple. Nothing fancy. Uh, it tastes really good, it fills me up, and it's quick, which is really important for me. So, uh, lunch on the go, let's get after it. School in time. We okay, boys? Good yeah. day? You had a good day at nursery? Yeah. What did you do? Bird. Oh. Did it. <laughs> Pepper paper. And... Wow. Older. Is that your lot? Yeah. Fantastic. Right. This one. Fun facts with Jack. Let's go. <laughs> what did you learn? I learned in topic about the relig um, another religion and it's, I forgot what it's called. 
Um, Good learning then, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> What's happening tonight? Swimming! Yeah! Do you like swimming? Yeah! Alright, so school run done. The uh, boys are just out there burning some energy off and this is about the time where usually I start to get pretty hungry uh, and I've got a, a, a pretty sweet tooth so this is where it's so easy to uh, be in here snacking at all the kids treats and all that sort of stuff so what I tend to do to try and help that is go with these I either have these or the caramel version so I normally have two or three depending on how hungry I am and this is basically just to bridge the gap similar to the morning snack um, from lunch to dinner. Here he is. And it's also trying to um, make sure that these two don't scoff these as well. So yeah, two or three of these um, usually does the job. Um, like I say, uh, that will see me through to dinner. Ready to go? Yeah. Ready to go? Yeah. Let's go. Boom. There we have it. Live workout smashed with the Unbreakable Dads and my little helper. How was that, mate? Good. Yeah? Did they work hard? Yeah. Did I work hard? Yeah? You had to think about it. Um, yeah, good session to finish off the day. Um, now time for some dinner. I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, and then very, very important uh, business to take care of, which is the second leg of the uh, playoffs for the Mighty Sky Blues. Very nervous about this. Um, one step away from Wembley. So um, yeah, that is gonna be my night tonight. Uh, keeping my fingers crossed. Probably not <laughs> enjoying watching much of the game. Um, but yeah, hopefully we can do the job, but we shall see. All right, so that is dinner sorted and is looking good. Leah has cooked up a simple bolognese using the turkey mince. We normally have uh, beef mince, but decided to mix it up a little bit this week. And uh, like I have said, when it comes to the evening meals, we like to keep it simple as I have throughout the whole uh, of my day. And um, we have four or five different variations that we rotate around. Um, some of them we have with the boys uh, and some of them obviously we have by ourselves. Um, and yeah, looking forward to digging into that tomorrow. Last thing I want to show you before we close up this episode is after uh, the evening meal, um, I know for a lot of guys that I work with, it is a huge temptation to snack and uh, just, you know, um, dive into the, uh, into the biscuits, into the good stuff. And I fall victim of this from time to time. Um, if I'm not really mindful of my overall intake, intake and I'm not tracking stuff, um, yeah, if I'm busy and I've had a stressful day, I am guilty of going in, grabbing a pack of biscuits and smashing down um, you know, them in no time and not even realizing uh, the amount that I've actually consumed. So what I do to help me with this, because I, like I said, have a sweet tooth, uh, I have a little treat, a little treat after um, the evening meal. And I'll have this probably while, I'll, um, uh, while I'm watching the football, so after my dinner. So the first one, which um, a lot of people have been raving about, are these protein puddings. These are incredible. 20 grams of protein um, and taste amazing. And yeah, if you enjoy um, something sweet and I like it as a little bit of a treat at the end of the day, I cannot recommend these enough. And I save this for this time of night. What I then add to that to, uh, again, just fill it out a little bit more, are these bad boys, the 10 calorie jellies. They might not seem a huge amount, but they taste really, really nice. And they are actually quite filling as well. And it's just that kind of a little bit of sweetness with regards to um, feeling like it's a bit of a treat and it really does work. I tend to stay away from um, the snacky uh, biscuits and that sort of stuff. From time to time, I'll dip into it, but that really does help. So that, I think, is that when it comes to my, um, my day of nutrition. I hope this has been helpful. I hope you've got an insight into what I do. Like I said, probably the worst person to do something like this because it's nothing spectacular, but hopefully it just shows that even though when you are busy, when you've got a lot of things going on, um, it's so easy to go for the easy choice, right? Just the convenience. But when you really think about it, you can make it simple. And there's, in my eyes, no excuse for being able to still stay on tra track with your nutrition as long as you put a system in place, as long as you can have like go-to meals, which are simple, easy, effective, and um, do the job. So yeah, 
Let me know if this has been helpful and um, I will catch up with you in the next episode.